What is up guys? Welcome to the first video of this new year and this new decade. Really quick before we start, I'm sorry for the furnace running in the background. Second, let me show you something. Check this out guys, I finally got a new lens. This is a Olympus Constant F28 Aperture 12 to 40 millimeter micro four thirds lens and I also got a new microphone and as you can see I'm talking into the back of it but you can still hear me pretty decent and I think I don't know what's going on with it I think like there's got to be something on the back of it to be able to pick up my voice this well anyway though guys this is such a better lens than I had before the only bad thing about this microphone is when I put the thing up like it's supposed to it rests right on top of the microphone so until I buy a new mount we're just gonna have to um, we're just gonna have to use the light right like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Back in December, I bought my parents a new Klipsch home theater system. If you haven't seen that video, go watch that right now before you watch this one. But at the end of December, I promised you guys a full setup video and bump demo. And that is what this video is going to be. So as you can see here, we've got the all of the speakers wall mounted now. We've got the um, front left, the front center, and the front right. Nothing's changed with the back speakers. They're still on the same stands they were last time, and they look pretty nice. My parents opted to have the covers on, which I'm not too big a fan of, but they are magnetic, as you can see right here, so they're easy to remove if they ever decide to do that. The receiver is still pretty much the only part that's kind of still temporary. It's not on its side on the floor anymore. It's now on this little stool and I don't I don't really think I showed this in its entirety in the unboxing video but this is a pretty nice receiver guys. It's a Yamaha um, RX V385. It's got the YPOW mic input. I use that to calibrate the speakers when I set them up and I did redo it when we put them up on the walls because obviously distances changed so levels had to change with it. It's also got a USB port on the front of it which is super nice for charging things. That's about all it's useful for though. This is not a networked receiver. Over around back all of the HDMI ports are being used. We've got the PS4 Pro on HDMI 1, Apple TV 4K on HDMI 2, we have the Wii on HDMI 3, and HDMI 4 is the Xfinity X1 DVR. I did end up hooking up the radio antennas as well, so the AM and FM ones are just right there. Probably will never get used, but just in case. Now we can't forget about the content side of things, so under here on the TV stand, we've got the PS4 Pro with a PSVR on top of it. My dad actually bought that for Christmas for my sister, which was perfect because he didn't know I was buying him a PS4 Pro. Um, that's the box for it right there, and right on top of it is the Apple TV 4K, as you can see right there pretty free and small and pretty powerful. That converter right there is for the Wii because this TV does not have anything except HDMI input, same as mine. The Wii is just sitting there not hooked up. And as I mentioned in the setup video, the PS4 Pro has to sit in there kind of sideways because these doors would not be able to close if it was just in there the normal way. I guess with that, there's not really much else to show other than the bump demo. So we're going to get this thing fired up and show you what it's capable of. 